Okay, Alan, so we're on to the next, the, or the final stage of okay. our discussion today, the quick fire round. So we're gonna change pace a little bit. We've got 10 questions. Mm -hmm. I'll start as follows. So, who do you look up to for inspiration or, or mentorship? When you say mentorship, it means the person is sitting right next to me or something that I read or watch? I think, I think it can be either, to be honest with you. I okay. Think, I think it could be someone kind of out there that is, you know, in the distance or someone that is immediately, uh, you know, has okay. oversight, yeah. For someone that inspires me and that I, I learn a lot from this person's biography mm. is mm. actually um, Nelson Mandela. Okay. Right? I mean, yes, he might have some political belief that might not be, you know, um, accepted right now, but you have to look at a person's grit and also his determination. Absolutely. Right? To, put, to go through all the things that he did and mm. came out stronger and consistently stronger, mm. right, is something really admirable. And if you think that a person like him can do it, mm. and a person that, you know, that falls after him, that, that's something that always inspires me. Fantastic. Right? It's how long, how long can you stand the beating and then come back even, even stronger. That's, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a strong example. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Question two, how do you keep your team motivated despite conflicts and obstacles. Communication, right? Yeah. To me, communication is always key. I always tell them that please over communicate, right? Yeah. You might sound stupid, you might sound like someone that's petty, but if you don't bring it up, no one's gonna know what irks mm. you, right? Okay. So let people know what makes you angry, what makes you annoyed, what makes you happy, so that people know how to communicate with you. Because each and every one of us come from a different educational background, perspective, mm. family background, mm. So the mm. way we look at things is very, very different. Mm, of course. So we, should, we need to stop making the assumption that what I see is what you see. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, question three. What are the most important attributes of successful leaders today in your view? For me right now, all yeah. the things after I've gone through, it's uh, gratefulness. Yes. Right? The moment we, we are grateful for about things, then you start appreciating them more. You start you know, uh, creating more attention to it. And, and you also care for whatever things that you already have achieved, okay. right? And then you aspire for more, okay. right? Yeah, so you're basically grateful for all the things that happened and yet you're still aspiring to, to achieve more in your life. Yeah. Fab answer, okay. Name one thing that makes you most proud. Ah, uh, my team, Okay. right, definitely. Because after all these years, I realized that, because before these, I've not run any teams before, mm -hmm. like before okay. Magic. And even when I was joining Magic, they told me, can you hire more people? I said, no, I'm too lazy to hire so many people, <laughs> right? And then I realized that, you know, building up a team and having um, mentor grow and I learned from them as well, that has made me to the person that I am today, Okay. right? So they, they contribute much. As everyone say that, wow, Alan, you know, you, you talk a lot about culture, but mm. these guys that, uh, this team that I work with, they gave me the opportunities to, to grow, right, to learn. And you know, so that I can therefore refine what I can call as the, the leadership skills. Fantastic. I guess linked to that question six, how do you generate great ideas within your organization? You have to be working with the right people, mm. right? You, as much as you think that you're the most brilliant person, but it helps when you have the right people to bounce ideas with and okay. challenge you on the norm because like I say, our experience is very differing, uh, different from others, right? And when they bring in their perspective, wow, that's when great ideas happen. Fantastic. Yeah. When you're hiring a new employee, what are the things that you look out for most? Attitude and personality, for mm -hmm. sure, right? So there's a lot of things you have to gauge with when you're doing all the interviews, whether they have the right personality and attitude to, to be part of the team, mm -hmm. right? Switching tack a little bit. Um, what does work-life balance look like to you? Oh, <laughs> now that's gonna be a tough one. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really have a work-life balance per se, right? I, I basically have something more like a like a work-life harmony. I see. Sort of things happening, right? Yes. Which means that I can switch from working, have a coffee half an hour later, and mm. jump back into work. Got it. And you know, as and when I feel that I'm want to work for the next eight hours and I'll yeah. just go all the way. When I rest two hours and I'll do it as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of, like, like now it's come to a point of time where the, the work environment is very different. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like work is a passion, so it doesn't feel like work. Exactly, right. Yeah. So you basically just make sure that, you know, it, it brings both great positive vibes, whether you are working or not working. Absolutely. So what, what do you consider before promoting someone within your business? I look at a lot of the sacrifice they have made, mm. right? and you know what are they aspiring to and i get them to share with me what do they want to achieve over the next one two years like say yeah. five years too long yeah over the one two years 
and the things they have done and committed into doing to achieve those um, goals. They will show how much they care for themselves and how much they care for the company as well. Mm. Yeah. And then on to our last question. What is something you wish someone had told you during your career journey to date? Oh, um, a lot of things, man. If I can go back 10 years, I want to tell myself a lot of <laughs> Be grateful. Mm -hmm. Right? Be very grateful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's something that I wish someone had told me when I was younger. Yeah. It's a great closing philosophy. So Alan, that brings us to the end of our quick fire questions and to the overall discussion. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you for joining us today and sharing all of these insights with our audience. I'm sure will prove extremely useful. So thank you. Hey, thank you for having me, Rin. Glad to share. Our pleasure. <laughs> thank you.